this is gonna be uh, me blindly buying and playing a new game just for shits and giggles. So, let's give it a go. Yeah, let's play on hard mode. Save. We humans have coexisted with the stars for many thousands of years. Stars represent life and death. They preside over the cycles of the universe and give birth to the elements of life. People have looked to the night skies with awe and wonder from time immemorial. But a catastrophe stopped these same stars. Relayers, those who seek the inevitable end of the universe according to its laws, and the star children who resist them. This is their story. Earth, Japan, Hosh nah, Hoshinomiya City. Six, help me! I'm falling to the sky! Fall into the sky, okay. It's okay. I promise I won't let you fall. Be strong, Luna. <laughs> That be a lesson, kids. When you want to hold on to someone, you grab each other's wrists. A portion of the Earth loses gravity, causing grave destruction. People, vehicles, and shattered buildings suddenly fell upward into space. It was a disaster unparalleled in all of human history. The city was destroyed in this tragic event. Many lives were lost. The disaster came to be known as the Gravity Loss Event. The Gravity Technology Development Organization, known as GT Labs, determined that relayers were responsible. However, mankind lacked the tools to fight back. That truth was sure to send the people of Earth into a panic. The United Earth Government in Japan made the decision to conceal the true nature of the catastrophe, instead calling it a meteor strike. Meanwhile, in order to protect Earth from the impending threat, GT Labs under the leadership of humanity's first star child, Himiko, began to accelerate development of anti-relayer weaponry known as Stellar Gear, as well as the identification of other star children in possession of the Will of the Stars. Alright, so I think I got my mic on now. Uh, let that be a warning. Uh, if you want to actually hold on to somebody, grab each other's wrist. Don't try to grab, hold on to each other's hands. Hands are weak. The wrist is strong. 2051. Our story, <coughs> the story of the Star Children, begins on the lunar surface in a colony known as Artemis. Lunar colony called Artemis. Well, at least it's thematically correct. Luna! <sighs> I... had that 
dream again. It's two years to the day. No wonder, I guess. It's been two years since I lost Luna. And my memory. I've been living in aimless You lost your memory, how do you remember Luna then? Somehow, I ended up on the lunar colony Artemis. Good morning, Master Terra. You appear distressed. Was it the usual dream? Good morning, Yoraka. Guess you didn't think to shake me out of it. I do apologize. You woke up of your own accord before I was able to make a decision. I thought that I had let go and moved on, but I guess it's not that easy. Well, where should we go next? Pardon me for being presumptuous, but I assume this journey to be part of your grieving process. Accordingly, I recommend Mars. Don't be so quick to assume. Wait, why Mars? Yeah, why Mars? <laughs> Nearly everywhere we have been to date has been a place that you mentioned your sister wanted to visit. Mars is also on that list, hence the recommendation. Furthermore, non-terrestrial environments greatly stimulate my intellect. Hmm, I guess. We're already on the moon. We might as well see some out-of-the-way places while we're here. Hmm. Die, humans. <laughs> what is the matter, Master Terra? That light... No way... It, it can't be... Oh, God... If you really do exist out there... Please... I beg you... Please let everything from here on out just be a dream. Then open your eyes. Star child, the first star. Himiko, that's my name. I've come to find you, Terra. If you want to seek the truth, then I need your power as the star child of Earth. 2051. I met Himiko in a land devoid of gravity. What the? Corporal Max! What's happening? Are we under attack? Hmm. Guess they still want to live. Answer me! Who are you with? Who the hell are you? I'm a star child. A star child? I'm the star child of the moon, bringer of death to humanity. A, a dark gear? No way. What is that doing here? Dark gear. 
So that's what this is called. I'm relieved to see you in one piece first, Star. I'm sorry not to see you in pieces, Masked Man. Just to confirm, is that girl the one you've been looking for? That's right. She's the Star Child who possesses the will of Earth. Terra. They call me Observer. I've been sent by the United Earth Government to observe the GT Lab's experimental supergravity vessel. I sustained a terrible wound to my face long ago. Ever since, I've worn a mask so as not to upset people. Hey! This is no time for leisurely introductions. Yeah, that's not suspicious Those are relayers, aren't they? Looks that way. Relayers are the only ones in the whole universe who can cause gravity loss. What's your star saying? My star is saying they're relayers too. Then it must so. Uh, um, what's a relayer? Relayers are disciples of dark energy who hold the fate of the universe in their hands. They have one goal, to extinguish all life by accelerating the expansion of the universe. They're the ones who hit Artemis with the gravity loss disaster a moment ago. And that's why the stars willed us star children into existence. We are the only ones who can stop their plan and save the universe. Maybe you haven't noticed yet, but there's a star, the well of the Earth, deep inside your heart. And the Earth's will is inside my heart. Observer, I'll leave Terra to you. There's no way a military quasar can handle relayers. I'll head out in the stellar gear. That's right. Your stellar gear is here in this lab. But do you think you'll be safe out there? Of course. If nothing else, I've got sheer luck on my side. Star children are meant to fight relayers. <sighs> I've been to so many countries and various places, and it's true everywhere that no life is easily saved. If you would, Yudaka. A question, if I may. What prompted you to make this decision? If I sat around and did nothing, when I had the ability to help, I'd never forgive myself. I'm tired of having regrets. I've been through two of these awful gravity loss events now. I don't ever want one to happen again. That's all. I find it difficult to understand willingly exposing oneself to danger. Yet I wouldn't expect any less from you. Hey, you two. What's she talking? We're here. Astoria? I thought it fell and burned up in the atmosphere after fighting a dark gear two years ago. So it survived its crash landing and been in her hands the whole time? What a stroke of luck. Please don't try to do too much. Dying won't help anyone. I know that. I swear the rain in this is so bad. Holy shit. I <laughs> Awesome, we're already 
fighting our sister, huh? She's a level above me. That's not good. Grid layout. Right. Master Terra, please allow me to handle the controls and status monitoring. Wow. You can do all that? I excel at it, in fact. Before you salvaged me from the scrapyard, I was a space probe AI. Sure Why didn't you right. ever tell me? You never saw fit to ask me. You can be sure we'll have a nice long talk once this battle is over. Understood. I'll do my best to ensure we survive to have that talk. Turns to the unit has the highest agility, character icon on the top right, screen represents the initial order, and the actual character on the left. Players initiative the first thing you want to move the unit. Square and the unit. Let's get rolling, Yodaka. It's time to move out. Self-heal, okay. So this is the enemy. Relayer Dark Gear. Wonder if I can handle it. Let us proceed, Master. If the way ahead is too dark, allow me to light your path. Oh my god, this righty is fucking terrible. Why? <laughs> Rolling, Yodaka. It's time to move out. Anyone to stand in our way. Patching you up. Stay there until I approach. Yeah. Let's get rolling, Yodaka. It's time to move out. All right. Who do I kill first? It looks like this one is different from a dark year. It appears to be an ordinary quasar. However, as it's a command gear, we'd best be careful. <laughs> this is one of those fancy new GT Labs quasars. Well, let's see what their new toy is made of. Don't mess with me! Don't raise me! Let's get rolling, Yodaka. It's time to move out. Bad. 
I'll teach them a lesson. You're finished! Don't allow anyone to stand in our way. This isn't just a mechanical problem. Don't mess with me! <laughs> Heavy damage sustained. This doesn't look good. Before we can try to do a direct hit on me. Really, we're the no stronger way. sister. Oops. <laughs> Did I do that? Guess some of these GT Labs guys know what they're doing. What is the matter, Master Terra? I recognize my own little sister anywhere. It's you. Isn't it, Luna? <laughs> no. Is that my sister piloting that gear? What are the odds? I'm so glad you're alive. But why are you in that? What's that? You've got a lot of nerve. You're the one who let me go. And why are you talking like a creep? Uh, Luna? Come on, sis. Don't you think it's a bad idea to open your cockpit in the middle of a fight? What? Luna, please. Why are you doing this? Like you don't know. As if you had nothing to do with it. But if you have to know, I guess you could say I'm a bad star child. That's what I said. See you later, sis. Oh god, this writing is so bad. <laughs> Who the fuck thought this was okay? Yeah. I guess that oh my god. god. Are you alright, Master Terra? Thanks for saving me, but I'm not even sure if I wanted you to close the hatch like that. Your safety is my primary concern. As the enemy pilot said, exposing yourself in a fight like that is exceedingly dangerous. See you some other time, sis. Wait, Luna! Please don't go! Reinforcements? There's no way I can handle all of them. Sorry for the holdup, Terra. First star, Himiko, to the rescue. Watch and learn. <laughs> Sorry to ask so much, but we still need your help. At least you'll get a front row seat to see me in action. Roger that. I can't stop thinking about Luna. But I need to focus on these enemies. And the gear won't hold up at this rate. Commencing repairs! The first star is ready to shine.
Let's get rolling, Yodaka. It's time to move out. Commencing repairs. Feels like one stronger. Let's do it. Cannot hide. Moving out. I'll provide support. I won't allow anyone to stand in our way. I'll do what I can to protect the universe. Taking action. I'm with you. I won't allow anyone to stand in our way. Ready to shine. Study like that. <laughs> Healing. I won't allow anyone to stand in our way. No nearby enemy readings. It looks as though we made it through. <sighs> Great work, Yadaka. You too, Himiko. First, allow me to thank you. We were able to keep damage to a minimum thanks to your help. <sighs> I'm still shocked the relayers would target GT Labs directly. But why the Moon Lab and not the HQ Lab? Um, Himiko? There's something I'd like to tell you. I've leveled up. What? The sister you thought was dead is in cahoots with the relayers? We barely spoke, but there's no mistake. It was my sister, Luna. A human helping the relayers. I just don't get it. You're sure she called herself a star child? Yes. She said she was a bad star child. She's <laughs> a bad star child. Oh my god. Do you have any idea where she went? <laughs> Yeah, she headed for that building over. <gasps> no. They're going after the original one. Now I know why they specifically chose to attack this base. I'm sorry, Tara, but I have to go after her. Uh, I'll go with you. Yudaka, please ready our gears. Yes, Master Tara. Please be careful. <sighs> Good. The original one's okay. So this red gear... is the original one. Oh. 
You got here sooner than I expected. Observer? What are you doing here? Actually, forget about that. Yeah, the guy that's totally Something not fucking here? suspicious at all. Like, Did you oh my God. see a girl, slightly younger than me, with pigtails? As a matter of fact, I did. She's right over there. What? The girl you described... Sounds a lot like me. Let's go, original one. We're too good for this damn old dungeon. Original one is moving. Rejoice. After 100 million years, the key has been released from its eternal slumber. Luna, please get out of there. Luna. Not good. She's about to get away with my original one. Mega. Let's hurry outside. Yudaka should be able to slow her down. That's my sister's gear. Dilemma. Dilemma. It appears as though this is the original one. In which case, I have but one option. Yudaka can pilot a gear? Simple maneuvering might be more accurate. You might want to get in your gear too. We won't be able to hold her for long. I'm on it. Why'd you guys even leave your the gears in the first place? And the forgery. Sister and sister. Earth and moon. What fortune to witness such drama. I'm here, Yudaka. Glad to see you're safe, Master Terra. Was your sister piloting that gear? Yes. I'm not sure why, but it looks like she was after that red gear all along. Well, that was yeah, the red gear we knew nothing about until just fucking for a now. Thief. What a great we have setup. To stop her. <laughs> for I fucking don't terrible why myself. Something just tells me we can't let her succeed. But what can I do? <laughs> not to worry. Did you forget that you have the first star here? Sit back and enjoy the ride. The smell. No mistaking it. It's been so long since I've smelled starlight. Looks like that red gear has a collaborator in it. That's right, Walker. I stole off with the original one. No problem. Does your presence here mean you finished your meal? I devoured every quasar here. But I'm still starving. Such tiny morsels could never satisfy my hunger. Oh my oh, god. Don't uh, you can have mine. <laughs> I'm gonna die a cringe before this fucking Do game's I have over. The white one? The blue one? <laughs> Doesn't really matter. The light colored one is mine. No one else can have it. Unacceptable. Our mission is to procure that gear. Dark Knight has instructed us to return. As the soon Dark as we Knight has instructed. Oh. Fuck. No. I'm going to kill. It just that keeps one. getting worse. That's the whole reason I've held on this long. I repeat, our mission is to take that gear intact. You will face the wrath of Dark Knight if you do not obey us. The key is not the only way to open the cage. Find them. We won't let her get away. Let's go, Terra. Got it. I don't think so. I intend to eat you, stars. Uh, I have auto saves, so why is it prompting me to save? But okay. Oh, 
Oh, there's rocks and stuff on the field, so is there actually going to be terrain to consider? Area B, okay. Himiko has a uh, terrible health, all things considered. Okay. Gravitational attack power? Okay. I guess it's effectively magic. Accuracy SCH is evasion. SCH. Death, I think we'll be fine. It's too hard to start. That's fine. A question for you Why do you resist your annihilation? Wouldn't anyone resist getting killed? Thank you for staying when the we obvious, Simiko. This three-dimensional universe, we will elevate it and you to a higher plane. Uh, yeah. And okay. it will be the sweet nectar that satisfies my insatiable hunger at long last. I will continue to consume the light of countless stars until my hunger is satisfied. Consume. Are you not a big fan of stars? Why would anyone destroy such beauty? I cannot comprehend. To us, they're nothing more than a byproduct of nuclear fusion. Our value systems fundamentally differ. Sniper attacks can occasionally just overkill, which will one hit kill regardless of remaining HP. What? That seems horrifically broken. I won't allow anyone to stand in our way. Ready to shine. This isn't just a mechanical problem. You can't run, can't hide. I can't believe you got Be careful, Master Terra. This one is not like the others. 
She's driving the wedge between Luna and I. And I just can't run away. Let's get rolling, Yodaka. It's time to move out. That is critical! Uh, heavy damage sustained. I'm in trouble. as scrap metal in my hands. Collaborator retreat confirmed. Mission successfully completed. Withdrawn. Sorry. I must retreat. I feel like I've grown stronger. We were gonna die. Enemy withdrawal confirmed. Zero enemy forces in or around the facility. Considerable time has elapsed since the original one withdrew. Additionally, considerable time. What, we just stay in here with a thumb up our ass? Lost. You're right. That much is obvious. Even to me. Even to you, um, so you're like fucking retarded? Let's work together. Looks like our goals are aligned anyway. I think it's a good idea. Master Terra, taking her up on this proposal may prove to make the most sense. Yes, I agree with you. But even so, how are we supposed to go after Luna? She'd never ask. <laughs> we'll use our ship. The experimental supergravity vessel Asterism, of course. It's huge. So that's the Asterism. <sighs> Are you all right? You appear ill. Yes. I'm fine. I'm just... fine. Am I... really the only surviving member of my unit? Max... Jessica... Ahmad... Sonia... Little Prince and name-dropping a bunch of people we don't the fucking know. are they?! I still don't get it. What the hell is a star child? What a surprise to see a survivor amid such destruction. Who the hell are you? have been foretold by the stars. O oh, Keeper of Destiny, you truly are too kind to me. What are you babbling about, moron? Follow me. I can tell you all you wish to know, and more. Where are we? 
Pray, open your eyes, before all comes to naught. Is that me? You must not fight. The original one will only bring you all sorrow. Luna? Is that you? The original one leads the way to zero. It is its sole guide. The original one is a tool of destruction. It brings misfortune to all around it. Make a choice. Everything hinges on your decision. Make a choice, Terra. Choose your destiny. Good morning, Master Terra. How are you feeling? Uh, I... must have passed out. Um... Where are we? Is this a hotel or something? <laughs> I thought you'd never ask. We're aboard GT Lab's state-of-the-art experimental supergravity vessel Asterism. You passed out, so we brought you on board. How do you feel? Sorry for all the hassle. I'm no worse for wear. <laughs> Good to hear. Can you walk? I want you to meet the captain. Think you're up for it? We are aware of the hijacking of the original one, and have reviewed footage of the fight with the Dark Gear. Accordingly, the Asterism will be tasked with the recovery of the original one. Dressing it up as a recovery mission makes it sound easy, but the truth is, we'd be fighting Relayers. We know next to nothing about them. Including the Astoria, we only have two gears. But the main issue is that our pilots are inexperienced. We completely understand. But as relayers have started appearing within Earth's atmosphere, we really have no other options. I do. I'll be expecting a huge bonus for this, though. And that's just for starters. We'll do whatever we can to help. We're counting on you, okay. Sorry for the holdup, you two. Terra, was it? Welcome aboard the Asterism. I'm the captain of this ship, Belnix G. Gillian. And that over there is... Radio Officer Medea Caduceus. Nice to meet you, Terra. Ah, so you're the new star child Himiko found. Everyone's been talking about you. My name's Pluto. As you might guess, I'm the star child of Pluto. Pluto isn't a fucking planet anymore, though. Did Japan not get I the fucking memo? I take care of whatever those two don't. Controls, steering, sensors, electronic warfare. You handle nearly everything on this craft yourself? That's incredible. That about sums it up, Yodaka. It's possible because I'm a bit of a unique star child. He's not lying. We really do manage this bridge with just two crew members. Now down to business. Tell me about this battle you were in. I want to hear details. Um, so what's going to happen with me? Let me ask you though. What do you want to do? Well, uh, what do you mean? If you want to join us and go after the original one, or your sister, I should say, I'd be fine with that. We'll be dealing with relayers. We hardly know anything at all about them. I can't guarantee your safety. <sighs> if you want off this ride, you can disembark when we stop at port. 
want GT off this Labs ride. might take serious interest in a star job. Give me off, give me off. Such top secret info. With all that in mind, let me ask again. What do you want to do? Luna is the only family I have. I figure she's worth putting my life on the line for. I won't give up. I can't give up. Family ties, huh? Guess that's as good a reason as any. I'm so sorry for speaking out of turn, Tara. Himiko, I'm leaving her in your care. I got this. Finished getting to know the rookie? Yep. Just wrapping up. Then have her stop by. If you plan on having her pilot, there's someone she should meet. Gotcha. I'll send her over. Himiko, stay here. I need to talk to you. Okay. Wait, before I go, can I just take one picture? Uh, sure, but why a picture? Photography is my hobby. Also, it'll help me remember everyone's names and faces. <laughs> In that case, take as many as you like. You don't mind, do you, Captain? Not at God, she takes selfies. Okay. Oh Here no. Goes. Say cheese. Hmm. So you're the brand new rookie. My name's Akaboshi. Uh is there something on my face? You're the one who repaired this? Yes, I guess so. That's amazing for someone with no training. Wow. Rance almost never compliments anyone. I get all rain tomorrow. Not that he has me. Um, you are... This is Venus. She takes care of the Astoria and the gears as part of her training. Any questions about your gear? She's your girl. If your name is Venus, that must mean you're a star child too? Yeah, that's right. I possess the will of Venus. But I'm not a pilot. I'm a mechanic. Don't hesitate to let me know if I can help you with anything, okay? Thank you. Likewise. Oh, uh, that's right. Uh, is it okay if I take your picture? I just want to try and remember everyone's names and faces. I just took a picture of the captain. The girl literally is retarded. She can't sure. remember who's It's the least I can do for you. Okay, everyone. Break time. Come over here. It's either that or she's the hey, uh, character the from... Oh, no, what's that movie called? Uh, everyone, take five. You heard the boss. Or the guy has to take photos because he can't remember everything. Some of us or may not be around really for much longer. Tattoos. Just wanted to Spears. get a picture of all of us together. So, what did you want to talk to me about? I'm not actually the one who needs to talk. That would be him. Hey, Neil. It's been a while. I last saw you on Earth. Oh, yeah, Memento. What? That's about a month ago? Hey there. Good to see you, Himiko. You seem to be doing well. So, what was it you wanted to talk about? I'm running a background check on Terra, and I've hit a wall. Is there anything you can tell me about her? It's not that I don't want to, but I just met her today myself. I'll give her the benefit of the doubt, but it's possible she may be a Relayer spy. Sure, there's a lot we don't know about Terra, but there's no way. No one likes being suspicious. But the United Earth Government and GT Labs aren't going to be okay with this at all. Understand? I hear you. In that case, I'll vouch for her. Does that work? No skin off my back. I'll stay suspicious, you stay trusting. Why so pensive, Master Terra? I was just thinking about Luna. That day two years ago, I did let go of her hand. It's true. 
But she has to know I didn't do it on purpose. Why does she hate me so much? Mere speculation. But the answer may lie somewhere within your lost memories. If it's impossible to restore your memory, why don't we try uncovering your past on this journey? My past? There you are. I've been looking for you. Hey, Himiko. Already finished talking with the captain? Yeah, it was nothing important. Do you have a minute? I wanted to show you around the ship. Sure, that sounds great. Do you mind, Yudaka? Not at all. As you wish, Master Terra. Nice. Let's do it. Wow, this is so engaging, showing me different backgrounds still. And that concludes our tour of the Asterism. As if any of that means uh, anything. Wait, where is he? Probably in the library? He loves learning about space and all kinds of new things. That's rare for an assist bot. Didn't he say he was a space probe AI? Apparently. I just learned that today, too. He doesn't talk about himself much. Would you mind telling me more? About your sister, I mean. One of my first memories is our father taking both of us to a place called the House of Stars. There were other kids there, but Luna would always stick close to me. Luna gave me this necklace I'm wearing. I've been wearing it so long, it's all beat up. I wanted to save Luna, no matter what. But I... I know it's hard to forgive yourself. You've been living for two years full of regret and remorse. But don't let it get you down. From now on, I'm your family. What? What? <laughs> you don't even know her. Sailors aboard the same ship have called themselves family since time immemorial. I don't I think, think that that's entirely true, at ship. least not my experience. So you don't have to suffer alone. You'll all get through this together. Because we're family. But... I guess that is kind of weird to hear from someone you just met. No, you think? that's not it. I'm very happy to hear it. God. No one has ever said anything like that to me before. I don't even remember what it's like to have a family. But I shouldn't be happy. I'm literally just talking about the experience with your I'm father and sister. I don't remember what it's like to have a family. There you go, trashing yourself again. <laughs> Jesus Christ, you All look like Rose. All Luna has to do is join us, right? We'd never turn a star child away. Welcome back, Mr. Tara. You seem to be enjoying Himiko's company. You're so creepy sometimes. If you were watching us, you should have said something. Has your mood improved somewhat? It has. Even if it's unavoidable, fighting with Luna won't be easy. You'll probably laugh at me for saying this, but... Somehow, I feel like I can pull this off. As long as I'm with her. Interesting. It sounds as though Himiko has helped you find hope. What? Fugitive original one sighted. Distance 10,000. All pilots, stand by for deployment. I repeat. Let's go, Yudaka. Repulsive force detected in the area. This is a relayer dark gear. The original one is disengaging. 
text and just skipped a bunch of texts. Okay, hold on. Let's back up. Let's go, Yudaka. Repulsive force detected in the area. This is a relayer dark gear. They used a decoy to ambush us? Relayers use some pretty cowardly tricks. It's military tactics. <laughs> so you think I'm a coward, sis? Well, why do you talk like some emo nerd? I could hurl listening to you. Oh my fucking god! <laughs> Who fucking wrote this? Oh no. Uh, emo nerd? Emo refers to a musical style popularized in the 1990s, but can also describe someone who is overly emotional. It is still used today as a general term to indicate an antisocial person who indulges in melodramatic displays of teenage angst. Oh, Jesus Christ. I... I already know all that. And I'm not emo. I hear a guy. <laughs> I don't know who's in there with you, but you better keep your eyes on the fight. You won't lay a hand on Terra! Tara, you're too far ahead! I'm sorry, Hinko. Ugh. Who's muscling in on my action? So you're here, collaborator. Why are you playing about? Our mission is to procure that gear. This is no time for games. My lady, I believe I already requested that you do not dally. Dark Knight? What are you doing here? You are a human, collaborator. It is my duty to monitor you, and mete out judgments when necessary. As she said, our objective is singularly to obtain that gear. That takes priority above all else. Should you choose to disregard our objective and stay in that gear, I won't stand in your way. However, collaborator or not, I would be forced to sever your head from your neck with my sword of judgment. My sword, oh, Jesus! Please, can you try to not write I'm like a fucking already. retard? <laughs> for one minute, please! You'll hold this lock here for me, right? Kinda need you to do that. Hold them? Preposterous. We're going to eliminate them. Oh, <laughs> okay. So essentially, you'll just be holding them up for me? I'm good to go then. Later. Later? The original one is disengaging. Luna! Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, stop right here for the time being. So, initial impressions, uh, this is comically fucking bad. Really fucking bad. Um, I will continue to play it because, I mean, it is comical. So, we'll see how it goes.